Well, goodness gracious, why are you making me choose? Coach Greg, and today it's a different video. We're gonna play a game called Would You Rather? So ask my subs, ask me some questions of what would I rather do? So I'm gonna look at the questions and tell you my honest opinion, what would I rather do? Would you rather follow the chef Andre Rush's daily routine for a month or drink Connor Murphy's Divine Shake every morning for a week? Okay, I'm going to have to say I'm going with Connor Murphy's Divine Shake because at least I could actually do that. I could physically complete that task if I had to for the survival of me as a specimen of a human being. I wouldn't cease to exist if I did the Divine Shake for a week. I'd probably need counseling for the rest of my life. But if I actually tried to follow Chef's Rush routine for a month, I don't think I could make it. I don't think I could physically do it. I don't think I could handle it, so I'm going with Connor Murphy's Divine Shake. Reluctantly, would you rather have to watch 10 hours of TikTok fitness or 10 hours of V-Shred? Easy, TikTok fitness. That's way more interesting. At least I can laugh. <laughs> Dogs, you just didn't agree. Do you disagree with me? At least on TikTok, I get a variety of different people spewing nonsense. And sometimes they actually say things that make sense. Would you rather have to eat like crap but could exercise in the gym 24 seven or wasn't allowed to exercise at all and could make yourself whatever diet you want? Hands down, I choose to be able to train in the gym. If I couldn't train or exercise, that's not worth anything to me. I need to be able to train or exercise. If I train or exercise, I can still eat a shit diet and at least I can burn it off. But if I'm sitting down on my ass all day and can't exercise and eating healthy, that's not gonna be good for me. I won't exercise my heart. I love being active. I would never choose the healthy diet with no exercise over the shit diet, but being allowed to train. Be able to keep training with weights and not be able to bike ride or being able to bike ride but not being able to train with weights. Wow, my two greatest passions going side by side. I'm going with the bike ride. Now that I'm older, I'm 45. The heart's the most important muscle. I want to live as long as I can. I prefer to be able to do cardio and ride my bike than to lift weights. And let's be honest, the bike ride, if I'm doing sprints up the hill, I'm still going to have quads and just ask the editor Steve, he's literally made that choice. He stopped lifting weights and he's doing the bike riding. Feels amazing. Riding faster than last time, having a happy life. So I see no negative to at least being able to one or the other. Being a professional bodybuilder, did that shock any of you? I bet it probably did. Would you rather listen to Mike O'Hearn or Jeff Nippard talk at you nonstop for an hour? I prefer to listen to Jeff Nippard because he makes his information based on science. At least it's something he read. Mike O'Hearn on the other hand, mostly based on his personal experience, but for me, because I have the personal experience, I'd rather hear about the science. I can then analyze what he's saying and say, do I agree or disagree? So I'm going with Jeff Nippard. Be able to sustain 4% body fat year round with no trouble. I'm loving that one. Or put on 50 pounds of muscle, but can only be 13% body fat. So he's basically saying, do I want to look like a classic physique pro bodybuilder on the day of a show year round or like an off season open class bodybuilder? I'm picking show stage year round, shredded all the time. I'd rather look shredded and have less muscle than be massive, but be in my off season. Start a new life with kids or atone for abandoning Will Tennyson and be more present in his life. I'm going with Will Tennyson. Absolutely. I don't need more kids. I should have been there for him in his past. I have deep down regrets. Forgive me, Will. Would Coach Greg rather do a water fast for seven days? Nope. Whatever the other one is. Or do the 10,000 calorie challenge for seven days. I'm obviously going to pick the 10,000 calorie challenge seven days in a row. Hopefully I could do it. I don't think I could, but I'm going to try way better than a water fast for seven days. No way am I trying that. Would you rather eat French toast or popcorn for the rest of your life? Well, goodness gracious, why are you making me choose? But if I have to choose, I'm going with the French toasters. More protein. It's going to be better for me. Going to fit my needs more than the popcorn. But oh my goodness, to not have popcorn forever. I have popcorn every single day. That's a depressing thing to make me choose from. 
Would you rather never be able to eat out of any of your freaking cookbooks again or never go to the gym again? I can't not go to the gym, so I can't eat from my cookbooks. I'd rather eat shit than never train again. So I have to go with not eating from my cookbooks. Gotta train in the gym. Sorry. Sorry, French toast. Sorry, protein ice cream. Sorry, everything. Choose in the gym. Burn fat overnight using Chris Heria's workouts for seven days or burn fat overnight using Clo Ting's workout for seven days. <laughs> well, so we're in bizarro world and you can actually do this. Uh, I guess in bizarro world, I would follow Clo Ting's workouts, rather do hers than Chris Heria's or Chris Hernia. Would Coach Greg rather have more subs or more people buying your frigging cookbook? I gotta say, I'd rather have more people buying the cookbook. Imagine if over a million people had my book. To start off with, I'd have over a hundred million dollars. That's a lot of freaking money. Next, with the hundred million dollars, imagine how many more videos I could make. Don't need to make them on YouTube. I could make them on Instagram. I could buy freaking Netflix. I could make my own movies. I could be starring Coach Greg in his own movie. I wouldn't need YouTube to share my message if I had a million people with my cookbook. And if a million people had my cookbook, it'd be two million. Cause the million be telling everyone how good it is. And then two million would have it. Then four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, and so on. There'd be millions and millions and millions. Millions. And the world would be a better pace with leaner and healthier people than last time. Would Coach Greg rather grow luscious locks of hair or grow a foot taller? Love you, Dad. If I had the longest, luscious hair of all time, would I have 10 million followers? If so, I'm going with the hair. But if it's just hair versus height, I'm going with the height. I'd no longer be a manlet. Do I mind being a manlet? No, but I would love to be able to slam dunk. That'd be fun and cool. Long hair, what am I doing with that? I'd have to like lower the camera because my hair wouldn't it wouldn't fit in the frame. It would be more annoying. So, but if I was taller, well, I'd be up here. I guess the camera would have to tilt up, but yeah, I'm going with the height. Eat your girlfriend's diet for the rest of your life while training how you would normally. Okay, so eat a lot of junk food and pickle pizzas and deliciousness and desserts and lots of wine. Okay, so that diet or chicken, broccoli, and rice for the rest of your life and train normally. I certainly am not eating chicken, broccoli, and rice for the rest of my life, so I'd rather eat the pickle pizzas and all the deliciousness that Al eats. Would Coach Greg rather win the Mr. Olympia or be the all-time best power lifter? That's an easy one for me. I'm going with the Mr. Olympia. If I'm the Mr. Olympia and I'm a little bit strong, that's cool. If I'm the world's strongest power lifter ever, I like it, but it would still be important that I look good. I'd rather look good than lift the heaviest weight of all time. What if that means I'm 300 pounds and I don't feel good about myself? Yeah, I'm strong, but the aesthetics is more important to me. So I'd rather be the Mr. Olympia, which is obviously still going to be strong, than be the strongest person on the planet, but not have the aesthetics. Would you rather be Jeff Cavalier or Mike O'Hearn in terms of being a fitness model influencer? That's an easy one. I'd rather be Jeff Cavalier. He has a much greater audience, has a much bigger influence on more people. What I want to do is to be able to influence the most out of people. So if I had to choose one or the other, choosing Jeff Cavalier. Would you rather be able to say potato correctly or be able to flawlessly pronounce people's names? I don't care for either, so I'm picking neither. But if I had to choose, I'd rather be able to pronounce people's names because one name, Potato, over everyone's name? I'd rather be able to pronounce everyone's name properly than just one word, Potato. Thanks for watching, ending it here. Don't forget, I offer diet and training plans. Go to my website, gregdusat.com. Also, don't forget to buy my freaking cookbooks. Here's the bloops. Watch one of those. Follow me in the Grand the Talk. Subscribe, click the bell button. And until next time, I am out.